everyone, welcome to another Curly Chemistry video. I'm so glad you are here. Today, we are talking about why your hair is not growing and what is blocking it. Now, I will say this as a disclaimer, this video is not for everyone. This is for those who feel like I've been doing all of the things and I'm still not seeing any hair growth, okay? If that is you, we locked in. I got you, okay? You guys know I waste no time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this time we're gonna do this, okay? We're gonna start off with the problems first, and then I'm gonna give you guys a solution. So the first problem is going to be nutrient deficiency. This is such a hidden culprit that unfortunately goes under the radar. Number one, low iron. If you do have low iron in your body, that means that you're not really getting enough oxygen to the follicle. So basically your hair is not getting the nutrients that it needs to actually grow. Number two is going to be vitamin D, low vitamin D. Now this actually disrupts your hair growth cycle. We have the antigen phase, the active hair growth phase. So if your antigen phase, your active hair growth phase is disrupted due to a low vitamin D within your body, you're not going to see the growth that you're looking for. The third thing I will say is a lack of protein. So our hair is made up of keratin and protein helps to synthesize keratin. So if there's a lack of keratin, or excuse me, a lack of protein in your diet, your follicles are not technically getting the building blocks that it needs to develop and give you actual hair. And then the last thing, of course, is going to be zinc, which actually helps to support follicle health. And then also B12, which also helps with getting the oxygen to the hair, the, the dermal papilla. Another one I will say that I feel like doesn't get talked about very often is omega-3. Now, omega-3 nourishes the hair. It nourishes the follicle. So a lack of omega-3 can also hinder and disrupt your hair growth cycle as well. The second issue is going to be poor scalp circulation. And a lot of people don't know this, but being stressed out can actually constrict your blood vessels within your scalp. Now, I always say how blood flow is hair growth. If there is a lack of blood flow to the dermal papilla, to the follicle, you're not going to see the growth that you want. Another thing people don't know is that tight styles can actually reduce oxygen and blood flow to the follicles. And the last thing I will say too in regards to poor scalp circulation is a lack of scalp massages. When you do not massage your scalp, what happens is your scalp in a sense becomes very stagnant. So your scalp constantly need stimulation now i'm not a I'm not saying you gotta be out here massaging your scalp for two hours, okay? But at least five minutes before you go to bed with a good, you know, hair growth oil, if hair growth is your goal, I would highly recommend that to keep your scalp stimulated. Now, the third issue is going to be product buildup. Now, I feel like this is another culprit because a lot of women and men are going way too long without washing their hair, and this is going to create a film on the surface of the scalp of product buildup, oil, dirt, and sweat, which will then block your follicle, leading to disruptive hair growth. Now, the fourth issue is going to be hormonal imbalances and chronic inflammation. So I'm going to do more content around this topic because it's such, there's just so much to know about this. But when it comes to hormonal imbalance, like for example, if you have a thyroid disorder, if you have PCOS, for example, if you have diabetes, these changes, these hormonal changes can absolutely disrupt the hair growth cycle. If you have inflammation within your body, this inflammation can actually shrink your follicles, leading to follicle miniaturization will then lead to thinning of the hair. So once again, these topics are huge. Stay tuned for more. I want to do more teaching around this stuff. But in the meantime, inflammation, hormonal balance is also a huge culprit. Okay, the fifth and final issue before we get into the solution is going to be having, um, how can I say it? Not really having a hair care routine. You know, just not really caring for your hair because where there is breakage, there will always be a lack of I wouldn't say a lack of hair growth, but you're not going to see the length, the growth that your scalp is giving you. And this can come from a lack of moisture, you know, not properly moisturizing your hair in between your wash day. This can come from handling your hair in a rough way, manipulating your hair. Some styles can lead to breakage as well. You know, so a lot of these little culprits, little things that we don't do or we do do, like rough combing, for example, can actually lead to breakage, aka a lack of length retention. Okay, so now let's talk about solutions. Now, in no particular order we're just gonna go ahead and just jump straight to it diet is gonna be a big one so I mentioned earlier about nutritional deficiencies 
I really, 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 okay, need you to get on a good supplement. It can be a hair supplement, it can be a multivitamin, whatever you want it to be, okay? But make sure you are getting some zinc, you are getting some iron, you are getting some vitamin D3 and K2, you are getting some B12, you are getting omega-3s, all of those things on a daily basis for not only your hair, but your body as well. The next thing I would say is get some protein into your body. This can be a protein shake, this can be meat like chicken, beef, salmon, it can be greens, leafy greens, like whatever you want to do. Really start from the inside out and you want to see amazing changes. The second thing I would say too is get your hands on my hydrating herbal hair tea rinse, okay? It is packed full of herbs that have natural minerals, nutrients, and vitamins within them. It's also very anti-inflammatory. So having this solution, this amazing tea directly on your scalp is going to be amazing for supporting hair growth and reducing excessive shedding. So we want that. And you can also use it as a leave-in spritz for like softer hair, okay? So definitely check it out. The link will be below. Also with scalp care, don't skip out on your wash day. I wash my hair once a week, or if, that, if that's too much for you, you can do it on a bi-weekly basis, but try not to go longer than a month without shampooing and conditioning your hair. Your scalp, your hair needs that. And also be sure to Handle your hair with care. Always use a wide tooth comb. Make sure you're moisturizing and sealing your hair throughout the week. Sleep with a silk or satin scarf or silk or satin um, pillowcase. You know, really just be protecting your hair and really treating it like it is silk. And I will say this too before I forget, if you need help with building a regimen, there's two things you can do. Number one, you can get my free guide, which is below the Natural Hair Care Regimen Builder. I'll, like I said, I'll post it below in the description box. You can go there and get the guide on how to build your regimen or you can work one-on-one -on -one with me which I actually prefer because I get to see your hair and your scalp and really give you personal suggestions for your hair your scalp products hair growth oils vitamins that are designed just for you including a custom hair care plan that gives you a weekly plan and a daily plan that you can follow easily without any you know well, do all, mm -mm. we keep it simple, okay? So I'll post a link below for you as well in the description box. All right, girlfriends, hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you actually enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video and to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content. Hit the subscribe button over, well, not over here, but you know, down here. Um, hit the subscribe button and you'll be locked in for the next curly chemistry video. Of course, I do have a question for you. What is that one thing? that has helped you the most see hair growth. Maybe it's a product you brought, maybe it's your diet, maybe it's a supplement, maybe it's, hey, I just started doing scalp massages, whatever it is, what is that one thing that has helped you see an improvement when it comes to hair growth? So comment below in the comments, let us all know, because once again, you never know, your answer may actually help someone else. Shoot, it, it may even help me, okay? So comment below, let us all know, and I can always see your responses. For all things curly chemistry, the hydrated herbal hair tea rinse, all of my ebooks to connect with me one-on-one -on -one for hair care coaching or if you're launching a hair care line i would love to connect with you i'll post all the links below in the description box all right guys i love you so much and i'll talk to you guys soon bye